Meet Bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide here in the Borderlands universe. This is the series where I take you through each of the three main Borderlands games, 1, 2 and the pre-sequel, and pick out a relevant Easter Egg or secret or reference within the game, and then just go into a bit more detail about what it is all about. So, back again for part 23 today, I've got three more uh, Easter Eggs or secrets within the games to bring you guys. Hopefully there's a couple in there that you don't know about. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the guide. So we are in the Claptrap Robot Revolution DLC and we're going to be killing a Claptrap Rebel or Claptrap Partisan as they're also known. Now listen very carefully to what he says when uh, I actually kill him, which is coming up right now. So as you could hear, he says, uh, I see three flashing red lights. Uh, now that is actually a, um, a reference to the three red lights error displayed on the Xbox 360s when they first came out. Um, the Ring of Light, as it's also known, or of course, as it's probably most famously known, the Red Ring of Death, which was obviously when uh, the general hardware failure happened uh, with the Xbox. It's a very, very common known problem uh, at the time. Really serious for a lot of people, actually. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is uh, what the Claptrap Rebels say in the, um, in the you know, later playthroughs. In the earlier playthroughs, they are called um, Claptrap Partisans. So just look out for them. They're basically military-looking guys. Uh, they've got like green army helmets on, things like that. They do say a lot of things, but uh, now and again, when you kill one, you will see, I see three flashing, flashing red lights, and that is the Xbox Red Ring of Death Easter Egg. Okay, so in Borderlands 2, we are in the map, the fridge, for our Easter egg today, uh, right here on the map, and uh, you're probably thinking, why is he heading towards Rackman? He's already covered Rackman uh, as a Batman Easter egg before. That is true, but uh, yeah, basically, there is uh, another part of this Easter egg to go into. So uh, if you go and um, spawn in Rackman in playthrough 1, he will be called Rackman. He will also drop the Gunnerang, which you can see right here, is pretty damn good. Now, that is obviously a Batman Easter egg. But if you come back in True Vault Hunter mode and Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, you will see his name has now changed to Rackman Forever. So that is still the same um, Easter egg. He is still referencing Batman right there. But he's obviously, um, with the Forever on the end of it, that is now Batman Forever, which was actually the sequel to Batman. It is actually the third in this series of the films. There was Batman, then Batman Returns. Uh, and then Batman Forever. So it would have been quite cool um, if the over the three East, you know, playthroughs, it would have been Rackman, Rackman Returns, and Rackman Forever. But still, they decided to change the name in there just to uh, actually uh, make it a little bit different. So yeah, the, today's Baldwin's Two Easter Egg is uh, a reference to the Batman Forever sequel. So finally, we are in the uh, pre-sequel right now for our third Easter Egg. And uh, this one is actually involving the legendary grenade which was added in the Claptrastic Voyage DLC, uh, the Meganade. Uh, the Meganade is actually a very good grenade that actually continually sends out these uh, like sucking novas. Uh, now on the red text of the Meganade it says suck suck suck, um, which is uh, in reference to the 1987 um, parody movie, it's a science fiction parody movie called Spaceballs, um, and in Spaceballs, um, Dark Helmet's aptly named Mega Maid Spaceship sucks the atmosphere of Planet Druida while soldiers on the ship repeatedly chant, suck, suck, suck. Uh, so that is why it's called the Mega Maid, which is quite clever because it's uh, like a Mega Grenade, but it's actually referencing the Mega Maid Spaceship, uh, and the red text is obviously uh, referencing the uh, the hoover kind of spaceship and also uh, referencing what the soldiers on the ship uh, are chanting as well so i'll play you a very quick little clip of that right now uh, for you guys to see now commence operation back you suck So there you go guys, three more great easter eggs for you today from each of the three Borderlands games. Borderlands 1, we headed to the Claptrap 
um, DLC and had a look at uh, the dying words referencing um, the Xbox Red Ring of Death um, software malfunction um, which was pretty famous at the time when Xbox 360s first came out. Then we headed to Borderlands 2 to take a look at Rackman in the second playthrough. Um, Rackman Forever who was obviously referencing Batman and then finally headed to uh, the pre-sequel to take a look at the meaning of the grenade, the Meganade, which was obviously referencing the parody science fiction movie Spaceballs. So I really hope you've enjoyed another Ultimate Easter Egg and Secrets Guide here on Borderlands Universe. Um, hopefully there's a couple in there that you didn't know about. If not, then check out some of the previous guides. There'll probably be some in there that uh, you may not know. If there's any you want me to cover, any uh, easter eggs or secrets that you think I may not know about, drop them down in the comments below and uh, I'll look into them. But for now, thank you guys for watching, really hope you've enjoyed another episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one.